There's a phrase that goes, a jack of all trades is a master of none, but sometimes better than a master of one. And this perfectly encapsulates my experience using the Mobboy TicWatch Pro 3 GPS smartwatch. At $299, it isn't cheap, but it is a lower price than many of its competitors. With a battery life of three days, it's far from other smart GPS watches like Coros, which can last up to 60 days, but it's much better than the one day battery life of the Apple Watch. Its eight gigabytes of storage is a bit lower than many alternatives, but still more than enough for what most people will likely need. The navigation and interface is decent, but definitely not as intuitive as others. Its included TicWatch apps are passable, but far from the best. It is water resistant, but not really enough to be advised for swimming workouts. The GPS tracking works pretty well, but it's far from being the most accurate. Same is true for its heart rate tracking. And there are a few standouts as well, such as its very responsive and bright 1.4 inch OLED display. And with the Snapdragon Wear 4100 platform combined with the one gigabyte of RAM, moving between various widgets and apps feels nice and quick. The TicWatch Pro 3 is a watch that plays almost a perfect balancing act among smart wearables. It's a great fit for somebody who wants a little bit of everything, but maybe not so much for somebody who wants the best of something in particular. This is Colin Jenkins with Connect the Watts, where we cover the latest in connected fitness. So if you want more content just like this, make sure to subscribe. So the TicWatch Pro 3 looks like and feels like a premium watch. The 1.4 inch OLED display is really the standout here and looks bright and crisp whether you are just browsing through some health metrics or scrolling to see the daily weather and the watch face can be adjusted and changed to one of hundreds that are available and they even give you an option to upload your own picture through the Mobvoi app and set that as your watch face. Now when not using the display it defaults to an always on monochromatic display in order to extend its battery life. Now using the touch screen feels really great. It's very responsive and with its fairly large size, I even found typing on it to be fairly easy and accurate. The TicWatch Pro 3 is IP68 rated, which means that it is water resistant up to 1.5 meters for around 30 minutes, which is better than nothing, but not quite good enough to safely use for swimming workouts. And when taking a shower, for example, I found the water to really cause a bit of havoc as the screen often mistakes water for touch, so it can start opening up apps and such. And to avoid this, it's best to turn on the touch lock via the settings or simply take the tick watch off. Now the case of the tick watch pro three has two buttons, which protrude from the right edge. The top button will take you to your library of apps when pressed and when long pressed can activate Google Assistant. Assistant. The bottom button usually acts as a home button when pressed and can be customized as an app shortcut. These two buttons stick out quite a bit, which would make sense if they were scroll wheels, which while they do turn, they aren't used as such. So personally, I would have preferred them not to be protruding as much as they are, but it's a small complaint about a design choice that I'm sure won't bother most people. The solid silicon watch strap that comes with the TicWatch Pro 3 feels, and in my opinion, looks fairly nice. And with the entire watch only weighing 42 grams, it's very comfortable to wear all day long, including during workouts. Now, one of the TicWatch Pro 3 3 smartwatch's biggest strengths is in its three day battery life, which can also be extended to 45 days using its essential mode, which basically keeps the watch on its monochromatic always on display. However, I was surprised that this essential mode still shows and tracks information, including your heart rate, your oxygen saturation levels, step count, and sleep. On its normal mode, I would get around three days of regular use using the GPS tracking occasionally. Now, I would imagine if you were somebody who goes for longer endurance bike rides or outdoor runs and use the GPS tracking more often, then you'll probably find that the TicWatch will give you around two days of battery life. Now, charging the TicWatch Pro 3 is a fairly quick process with an hour of charging, bringing the battery up to over 50%. And if you're somebody like me who detests having to charge a smartwatch every single day, then you'll find that the irritating moments that you get when your battery watch dies a lot less common when using this watch. 
Now in terms of heart rate accuracy, I found the TicWatch Pro 3 to be pretty reliable in terms of keeping a pulse. I encountered very few drop-offs during various types of workouts, whether I was running or rowing or doing strength workouts. And the heart rate accuracy seemed pretty good as well, especially during some of the more endurance-based activities. However, I did notice that it would sometimes struggle a bit with some of my higher intensity interval training, often failing to make the correct adjustments up and down if they came in went very quickly. In regards to its GPS accuracy, it is decent enough for more casual use, but it never really seemed to lock in quite as well as most current day higher end GPS watches. And you can see an example of that here where the line in the purple is the GPS from the tick watch. And you can see it tends to move around and stray away from the actual path that I ran. Now it's not so far off and so it'll definitely be good enough for the vast majority of people who would use this to run, hike, or bike casually. So with the TicWatch Pro 3, you also have access to the Google Play Store, and there are a large number of apps that you can download and install there to make the watch really custom to whatever you'd like to use it for. And that is a great thing because many of the included apps like the TicWatch branded Tick Exercise and Tick Health and Tick Sleep and all the others that start with Tick uh, really aren't that great. They're usable, but there are far better options out there. For example, I prefer to use use the downloaded Strava app to record my outdoor runs. But my biggest issue using the Tick workout apps is how the screen behaves while you're working out. See, using any other workout app, the screen here is going to turn off to save battery after a few seconds, which is obviously very annoying and not something that you want when you're in the middle of a workout. So in order to fix this, all you have to do is go to settings and turn on always on screen mode. And while this makes every other workout tracking app that I tried work great, for some reason, the TicWatch and Google Fit apps, while they would stay on the screen, they would stop displaying the change in time of the intervals. The time would just stay frozen on the screen until you touched it to activate the display. So for my use, I found those apps pretty much unusable. Again, luckily the Google Play Store is there, so you can definitely delete these included apps and find something much better. So overall, I know I was being a bit harsh, but I do feel like the TicWatch Pro 3 is is a pretty solid all-around smartwatch. Even though it doesn't do anything particularly great, it does everything good enough for most purposes and with its great looking OLED display and long three-day battery life and most importantly, its price of just $299, it really does stand out from a lot of the other options out there. And I think those looking for a nice hybrid watch that can be used for both fitness and health tracking, used to listen to Spotify, to make calls, to answer messages, or utilize any of the other functions from the many apps on the Google Play Store, the TicWatch Pro 3 is going going to absolutely be a great fit. And I highly recommend checking it out if it sounds like it's something that would fit you. Now, if this video helped you out, hitting the like button or commenting below is always much appreciated. It helps me out a ton. And as always, thanks for watching and see you next time.